Hey folks, your favorite acquisition manager here, Urban France on at the Rose Group. So pumped up that you guys are with me today for another market analysis on a city that we are going to review. Should we invest in the city or should we not? So today we are going to the middle of the country. We are going to Madison, Wisconsin. Let's dive in right away. One of my favorite free sites that I like to go to is worldpopulationreview.com. Madison, Wisconsin, population just under 270,000. A lot of great information here on this site, a lot of demographic pen, population growth rate, and so on and so forth. What we like to see, facts on Madison. I like to scroll down to where they start discussing average earnings Average earnings go more than uh, $50,000. I specifically focus on the average earnings, however, by people with bachelor degrees and graduate degrees, because that could be who's going to make up a good amount of my tenant base. So right there, I'm seeing those folks have a minimum average earnings of about $57,000 and higher. So I like to believe that is a nice income to satisfy the rents of apartments in Madison. But we don't know until we check out really what is the average rent in Madison. On that, I like to go to neighborhoodscout.com, another free website. Like average rent in Madison, Wisconsin, just under $2,000. I like to go to my calculator, put that in. We don't have to put it on calculator, right? I'll just round up to $2,000. We know that the landlords like you to have about income of three times that monthly rent. We have $2,000 is $6,000 a month times 12, about $72,000 a year um, in income that you would be looking to need um, to make the average rent in Madison, Wisconsin. And again, not too, too far off. We took a look at the median income for at the bachelor level and at the graduate level. That being said, if I'm looking at class A, class B apartments in Madison, I want those to be filled with tenants, with white collar jobs, and so on and so forth. So for that, I'm going to see um, what kind of jobs um, are made up in Madison and what really are the industries that drive the economy in Madison. For that, I'm going to go to city-data.com. Sure enough, no big surprise, educational services make up 18% of the uh, jobs in the area. We do have University of Wisconsin uh, right there in Madison, Wisconsin. Professional jobs, 11%. Healthcare, we always love healthcare because recession resistant, 11%. Computer specialists, this is now jobs by occupation, a little under 9%, management jobs under 7%. So a lot of white collar jobs in Madison, not too surprising because you have a healthcare network there, because you have University of Wisconsin. Those are going to be the folks that are really gonna make up your tenant base. If you like to go ahead and target classy apartments in Madison, Again, not a problem. You're just going to have to make sure that your rents are going to be attractive enough relative to the incomes of workforce housing. Uh, I'm going to go through a government website that is called BLS.gov. Stands for the Bureau of Labor Statistic. I usually like to go right here to see what the unemployment rate is for the area. Here it's showing two and a half percent, which is slightly below the national unemployment rate of three and a half percent. So healthy, healthy economy within Madison, Wisconsin, again driven by some of those industries we just went ahead and took a look at. So folks, those are some of the websites I strongly recommend to go directly to DeRosaGroup.com to download our free market analysis tool. You'll see all those websites that I just talked about that we've used. Now, one that is also interesting is brightinvestor.com. Now, the only difference between this website and others is that this is a subscription website. You see here, they got a tab called pricing and features. So you can click around there, see what price package works for you. Well, essentially what they've done, they've aggregated a lot of the information that we just talked about and included it on their website. High appreciation rates, development progress, they track building permits um, that have been drawn in a particular city. These are some of the resources that they use to aggregate all that data. We were just on the BLS website, Mash Wiser, Rental Meter for average median rent in a particular city and so on and so forth. So real good website, we've met the co-founder, really, really bright gentleman, and it continues to get more and more feature rich. So certainly take a look at that if you are interested. Just lastly, I'm going to pull up a website and I'm just going to go directly to loopnet.com, folks. I know it might not be a favorite for a lot of folks, but still, it is a place where you can go shopping for your multifamily. You've decided that Madison, Wisconsin is the city for you to invest. If you bring it up here, look, you got a nice 30 unit for sale over here. You also have a two unit available for sale. And if you don't want to stay on loopnet.com, feel free to go to the websites of the commercial brokerage firms, be it like a CBRE, Cushman and Wakefield, Collier's, Capstone. 
If nothing really tickles your fancy, at least get the name, the contact information of the broker that has that listing because you want to make sure you start with developing a relationship so you can get on your email distribution list. So folks, hope you found this helpful. Again, your action item here is to please go to our website, therosagroup.com, download our free market analysis tool. Hope you found it helpful. Summary on Madison, Wisconsin, everything that I see here, two thumbs up. Definitely would be an attractive market that we would do a little bit more homework to decide if you want to invest. But from what I see so far, population growth, population size, diversity by jobs, meeting income and rent hits all the marks. So folks, again, hope you found this helpful and happy hunting. Have a great day.